Good evening or morning or whenever you're viewing this, good day. I've found a few lessons that I would like to try out. I've got my trombone sitting down here. I haven't even opened it, haven't played yet in almost over a week. So I, I have no practice whatsoever, so we're going to see how good I sound and see how good these exercises sound to see if it helps improve just what I've started. And the exercises I'm going to be focused on are going to be this right here. I'm going to do one through six. And I'll uh, kind of go... I might do some pre... or permeate from it a little bit. But I'm mostly going to be doing just that. So it's going to be going from the first position and slide out. Slide back in and, and go all the way out to seventh. And come back in because I've got the feeling my scales are going to be I'm going to try a B flat scale and it might not sound that good because I might lose some of my range so I'm going to try these see if I can get my range back and then I'm also going to do the exercise number six here to see if I can get my these are called uh, well I'll get to what these are called later but I'll try these to help as well, see if I can get a, a better range and help go up and down through the scale. So we'll open this up now. Nice and cold. So this may not sound too well. Two techniques I've learned over time is I don't hold my trombone in an L shape anymore. I hold it more at a, you know, about a 10 o'clock, between a 9 and 10, somewhere in there, for ease of holding. And since I don't actually have anything to hold on here except for the trigger itself, and as you may notice, I, I, I use a gold mouthpiece because it feels better, has a little bit of a brighter tone, gives it a better overall tone to me and then lastly I don't use my tuning slides because my tuning slide is the slide itself I'll get into those ideas later on but for now we're gonna see how good I sound if I can make any good notes as you see it's cold my lips are not quite used to it really just doesn't sound good it's cold so maybe i'm going to try these exercises warm it up and then i'm going to try that scale again i'm going to attempt two or three octaves of it but that's that's besides the point well, we're going to start with that first exercise on concert f and this will work for Trombones, maybe a trumpet, and baritones. I mean, trumpets, obviously the octave different and the key difference. But these exercises should help a little bit to help just warm up the instrument and help you find the notes. And for me, it helped me find the intonation, like where the actual note is. And I might be moving the slide throughout, so it's not going to always be the same. Or I'll do the other thing, just do the do the notes to this because they're each position on this is perfect to itself but they're not in tune to any particular key so and we'll get to that thought later too well, well we'll go ahead and start exercise one <laughs> started to sound more weaker so we'll try that again with sorry my lights just kicked on I'll try that again with uh, the upper exercise two with the upper B flat and then I'll then I'll try the last uh, exercise number six 
You know, the four and five are for triggered instruments if you have one, and the and exercise five is for the pedal range if anybody has the pedal range. I might not have it anymore, so that's those are good exercises for later on too, like to help you improve your range on your instrument. Okay, so the instrument's warming up now. Feels a little bit better, and I intentionally wasn't using the trigger on that, just to get the exercise going and get used to the, the tones out there. I mean, using the trigger does the same, but it, it also does good to use the entire thing. Or the entire slide. And I'm going to try these other exercises now, where you're just bouncing up and down between the notes in each, each position. Some of those weren't the greatest, but we'll try this B-flat scale again and see how much better it can sound. And I'm going to try going two octaves, starting on a little B-flat and going up. We'll see how this works. <laughs> So as you see, it doesn't quite, it can't quite get all the way up as I used to. I used to have well, quite a bit of range, but I'll, I'll try going down this time. <laughs> okay, well I still got that range. That, that's that's pretty cool. All right, then now that that's the. Uh, first series of exercises I wanted to try out and since I have just a couple more minutes I'm going to try out my new instrument I got this just a couple days ago found it sitting on my table sitting in, in the morning so like, hey I got a new instrument cool my kids found out about it and they absolutely loved it I know it's not exactly you know, top end, but it's just fun for the kids and I, and it is a uh, P trumpet. And I'm not trying to advertise, I'm just excited to have it. It's actually my old school color, so kind of cool. And I'm also partial to orange, so that, that's really cool too. The kids love it, and I've squeaked a few notes out of it. I don't know how well it's going to sound, but I'll try doing a, a low register B flat scale on here too. A uh, concert, that is. Alright, well, that being like my second time playing this, it sounded all a little off, so I've got some work to do. Please stay tuned. I'll see if I can come up with some good stuff. And I've already contacted my old band director, and hopefully... We will be seeing some of you from my old band director from high school. Good luck and I'll see you next time.